hardest things about the desert. Keeping things watered and not completely destroyed. I've had to move, <clears throat> you can see all these empty holes. I had to move my trees inside except for the apricot tree and the apple tree. And I'm just keeping these out. first signs of trouble, you know, um, distress on the plants. I quickly bring them inside. So there's lots of experimentation going on in the desert garden. The apple tree hanging in there, but I'm watching carefully to see. <clears throat> All right. The most, the most annoying thing out here in the desert, I'd have to say by far, are the gnats. It's not the big animals, it's not the big, you know, heat, wind, weather conditions, monsoons, whatever. It's these fucking gnats. And um, one of the neighbors here uh, said that they used to only come for a few weeks, like three weeks out of the year. And now they come for like three months. They're here all summer. And um, they're just terrible. For me, for the dogs, the most annoying thing, you know, and they go right for your ears. Like right now, I'm holding the hose and I'm holding the camera and these things are just around my head, going to my ears, buzzing around my, my eyes, face. Ugh. Anyway, I'll stop complaining. I'll show you the progress in a second. And this is something I've gotten out of the habit of doing because it's just been so hot, but walking the labyrinth. You know, take a moment. Try to gain some clarity. Quiet the mind. Walk the labyrinth. Somehow it works. I think it works because I believe it works. But it works nonetheless, right? If you don't believe in something, then of course it won't work, right? So it only makes sense. And then I get to the center point. And I give thanks and blessings to the four directions, to the east where everything starts, right? The morning, the sunrise, and then to the mighty south where you get your heat. But, you know, I will appreciate the south as my very best friend in winter. West, where I always look to because that's where I come from. So I give blessings and thanks to the ancestors and the indigenous of those lands from the west and then to the north. My friend, especially now in summertime, the north represents shade protection. So I've taken to wearing this mesh, this uh, mosquito netting um, for these gnats. They're terrible. Um, I can still hear them buzzing around my head and, and whatnot, and I still react and um, because every once in a while, some, I don't know how, they, they're so small, they get up and inside this thing. I mean, it's just, ooh, it's relentless. But anyway, dealing with All right, it. I'm going to show you what's going on um, this week's progress. And it's been painfully slow because of the heat. Um, I'm digging. I mean, everybody should have a moat around their house, right? So I'm digging this out. This is actually going to be a uh, pond slash... Uh, I don't know what to call it. Um, but yeah, like a moat. But, uh, fuck. A cistern. That's what I was trying to think of. So it's going to be a pond, but it's also going to be a cistern. And um, I saw a video of this guy in Arizona, and he trenched everything. And that's what I'm going to do, is build a trench 
that's gravity fed from the, the cistern slash pond, and that's going to irrigate. So I'm going to have all these trenches going. I mean, you know, it's what it's what the Dutch did and have done and continue to do, and why they're such great farmers, right? There's canals everywhere, so the trenches are just on a much smaller scale. So the monsoons are coming uh, this week or next month or this month. I don't know. Shit, they're coming soon. So I'm trying to prepare because you get 80, 70 to 80 percent of your water comes during monsoon season, which is like two months max. So I have to maximize the water. OK, and then here's what's going on. I did this last night. So I'm starting cobbing, starting with the cob. And it's interesting, I'm experimenting. I'll show you the process. This will all be cleaned up. It's just the first structural, ow, structural um, like this, cobbing, structural cobbing so that you can, you know, add in, you know, windows and features and um, start putting the walls together, making them solid. Packed inside these walls, I've got straw, plastic i mean you name it so that's what i'm using for um insulation so i don't throw anything away i put it in my walls and utilize it and then lastly before i start working today actually i gotta water these guys is the garden and um garden is doing well and what's helped this week is that i got this shade cloth which i'm gonna do a better job of erecting that um is allowing these plants to sort of um deal with the heat but not in such a intense way and that direct south facing sun is not hitting them directly all day like it was so they're appreciating the shade cloth quite a bit so i've got more shade cloth that's going to go up uh today later on that's one of my tasks I know I've been filming almost exclusively in black and white, but I have to shoot this in color. This is my friend, um, this butterfly who has been coming around all week. And every time I water, she, he, the butterfly, whatever pronoun, comes around. It's really pretty. It's just kind of fluttering right now, so I can't do a close up. but. Trust me, really pretty. Anyway, there he is. There he is. Where's she? <laughs> this kind of comes and dances around me. All week, every little project, little area I go to, butterfly comes and hangs out. Look at this. I don't know what that means. But it seems like a really good sign for some reason. So I'll take it.